Matt Powell has a giant inflatable banana in his backyard which he calls Dr. Peel. Yes, yes, I know, I'm supposed to be doing a Kent Hovind video this week, but I came across a video from Matt Powell Official where he talks about his top five proofs for creation based on things from outer space, and I simply had to have a look. <laughs> and welcome along to another episode of Tin Fall Tuesday with me, Simon and Dan. Thank you very much for joining me. Before we begin today, a huge thank you to the sponsors of today's video, My Heritage. My Heritage is the leading global service for family history research and DNA testing, and is the number one ranked family history service in Europe. It's fun and super easy to build your family tree and then discover your origins. And you might even find new relatives you didn't know about, which is exactly what happened to me. I was plugging all my family members into the family tree when I discovered the brilliant smart match option. This matched one of my relatives from the past to the same relative in someone else's tree. And what I found is that my grandfather's dad, so my great grandfather, remarried a woman 36 years his junior. And he went on to have two other children, both boys, which are now newly discovered great half uncles or half great uncles, however you want to put it. And of course, they went on to have children. So there's a whole new branch of my family tree, which I need to research and I cannot wait to get stuck in. And check this out. This is my great, great grandma, Georgina. And my heritage, you can upload your photos, colorize them, enhance them and repair them. And if you really want to animate them as well, and it really does bring them to life. My Heritage puts 16 plus billion records at your fingertips. So even if you don't know much about your family's origins, My Heritage can find brand new family members for you, as well as records of ancestors with very little effort. Sign up for a 14 day free trial and enjoy all of the features that My Heritage has to offer. And if you decide to continue your subscription, you'll get a 50% discount. So click the link in the description now. Right, back to today's video where Matt Powell Official is about to prove creation once and for all. And he's using things from space. Could this be any more up my street, really? Has he done the impossible? Will he defeat decades of evidence? And most importantly, will Dr. Pill ever get out from his backyard? Let's find out. I wanted to do a video about the top five proofs of a young universe and just demonstrate that the universe is not 13.7 billion years old, like people have said, but that it's actually young and was created recently. And the first reason that we know this is because of short period comets. Really? You're starting with that one? Comets that have an orbital period of less than 200 years? Great. Now, if you're not sure what those are, they are balls of ice that are floating about in space right now and they deteriorate in less than 10,000 years. And so short period comets are all over our galaxy, all over the solar system, and they're going about in an orbit and they're deteriorating over time. And if our solar system was 4.5 billion years old, those things would not even exist. They would have completely deteriorated by now. Unless, of course, they spent most of that time settled in the Oort cloud quite happily until they were nudged by another body, sending them whirling into the center of our solar system about 5,000 years ago. The second proof is simply the planet Pluto. Well, hang on, is that it? Okay, well, let me just uh, add here that it's interesting you don't talk about the long period comets, Matt. There is one, Comet Hayakataki, which has an orbital period of 75,000 years. Yet you don't want to talk about that, do you? Pluto is warm on the inside. Now, if Pluto was from 4.5 billion years ago, when it finally was created back then, it would be freezing cold on the inside. There's no way that something could just stay that warm for that long, for the course of 4.5 billion years. Well, this has only been theorized at the moment, and the cause is a layer of insulating gas beneath the ice crust. Pluto's primordial radioactive heat would have dissipated long ago, but that layer of gas could be enough to keep things relatively warm. And by that, just warm enough to get liquid water, so a few degrees C. If you came to my house and saw a hot cup of coffee on the table, you would never assume that that cup of coffee was 4.5 billion years old. No, because a cup of coffee is 36 million times smaller than Pluto. I'm sorry, it would have cooled off over the course of just 10 minutes. 
because it's 36 million times smaller than Pluto. But people have no problem believing that things happen to stay warm for 4.5 billion years. It takes a lot of faith. Well, the Earth has. Why didn't you pick the Earth? It's roughly the same age as Pluto, so... The third reason is the planet Saturn. I mean, Saturn's rings are unstable. Saturn's rings are actually dispersing right now as we speak. Pesky gravity. And before long, those rings will be completely gone. Now, if Saturn, the planet, and the rings around it were 4.5 billion years old, those rings would have completely dispersed and deteriorated by now. And how do you know that? Do you know the rate of ring loss, Matt? In actual fact, the rings of Saturn weren't even there 4.5 billion years ago. They weren't even there 1 billion years ago. Cassini, an actual spacecraft which flew amongst those rings, discovered that they are only between 10 and 100 million years old. So there goes that one, Matt. But they're still there, which means that they were created recently, not billions of years ago. Which is what I've just said. The fourth reason is simply stars. Now, a star will die 1 per 25 years per galaxy. And so, if the galaxy was less than 10,000 years old, we would predict to only find about 200 dead stars in our galaxy. And sure enough, that's what we find. We find less than 200 dead stars in the galaxy. If you look at other galaxies, you'll only find about 200 dead stars in each galaxy, which means that if evolution were true, and if the evolutionary timescale of billions of years was taking place, you would have hundreds of thousands of dead stars throughout the entire universe. However, Matt, you are neglecting to mention the dead stars that we do not see, like the one that seeded our solar system, for example. The fact that you find only 200 dead stars per galaxy literally proves beyond any shadow of doubt that the galaxies, and our galaxy in particular, the Milky Way, is a young galaxy. And of course, I'm sure you can explain to us quite nicely that given the star death rate of one every 100,000 years, your 200 dead stars that we can see gives us an age of roughly 2 million years. Quite a bit past the 6,000 years that you believe is the age of the universe. Now the fifth and most powerful reason is actually the magnetic field of the Earth and other planets. See, magnetic fields are actually what keep our planets, and keep the Earth in particular, from being bombarded with space dust. He of course means the charged particles emitted by the Sun and cosmic radiation, not space dust. If the magnetic field was too strong, we would die. If it's too weak, uh, we would die. It has to be just right in order to protect us from issues from outer space or sunlight, deadly radiation coming through. And so the Earth's magnetic field in particular is very important and it is vital to our survival. The half-life of the Earth's magnetic field is actually 1400 years. That is not an accepted scientific fact. That is what creationist scientists have put forward in the past. It is far from accepted. And so what that means is that every 1400 years, the Earth's magnetic field gets chopped in half. And so you can only lose so much before you've lost it all. And if the magnetic field gets too weak, like I said, the sun's rays will penetrate the Earth's atmosphere and kill everything on the Earth. But earlier on you said it had to be just right. So that debunks what you just said. If it's halving at the rate in which you say it is, then right now is the perfect time for us, surely. Anything outside of that, then life can't exist. Your words, Matt, your words. With the half-life being only 1400 years, you take that back, uh, even 10,000 years. If you were to go beyond 10,000 years, the Earth's magnetic field would be so powerful that it would literally kill everything on Earth as well. Would it, Matt, though? Would it really? Earth's magnetic field strength is about 0.3 Gauss. So your half-life of 1,400 years into 10,000 roughly goes about seven times. So let's double 0.3 Gauss seven times. And that gives us a value of 38.4 Gauss. Oh no, not 38.4 Gauss. What are we gonna do? 10,000 years ago, our magnetic field would have been so strong that it would have been twice as weak as a fridge magnet. That is an epic fail. So, no matter how the evolutionists or atheists wanna play this game of millions and billions of years, it's not gonna go their way. Because truly, the facts are on our side, observation is on our side. Everything that we see 
and the solar system actually demonstrates that the Earth and the universe and the galaxies, the entire world is young. Except for pretty much every single observation and experiment that we've conducted, but hey. And was created recently and not billions of years ago. All right guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit the thumbs up and comment down below. Make sure to give us a good rating because I want this content to get out to the masses. How's that working out for you? And for people to understand that they were lied to by the public school system and that there is truth in the Lord Jesus Christ. He is the way, the truth, and the life. And his word bears witness with everything that we see around us happening in the world today, even right now. And so I hope you all enjoyed this video. God bless. Is there though? Because I don't really see any. Well, there we go. What a brilliant tinfoil Tuesday that was. Matt Powell tries to move out of his lane and talk about space and he gets thoroughly owned. Right, well, how long is it gonna be till a whack an atheist response, everyone? What do we think? Put it in the comments and let me know how long it's gonna be. Surely not long. Thank you so much for watching today. It truly is appreciated. Uh, if you enjoyed it today, please do consider subscribing. That would be hugely appreciated. As I keep saying, we're trying to get to half a million. Um, and if you really, really enjoyed it, hit that like button as well. Just enough time to once again thank My Heritage for sponsoring today. Uh, remember, if you sign up now for a 14 day trial, if you want to subscribe after that, you get a 50% discount. Just click the link in the description. I have been Simon Dan. Have yourselves a great week and I'll see you all on Friday for the return of Karen B and something to do with the sun. See you then. <laughs>